Good morning, class. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, I hope you all are doing great today. Nice to meet you again in this biology class. But before we start our lesson, let's pray together. Pray, start. Finish. Now I will check your attendance up. I will call your name one by one and please raise your hand. First, Husnul Latima, Rizky Wulan dari Putri, Alifa Horitunisa, Miril Amalia, Muntahana Laili, Andrayan Pratama, and Safira Nurusita. Okay, before we are going to talk about our topic today, uh, please, Safira, please take a piece of this bread and chew it for a while. After a while, it should start tasting sweet, right? Yes. But why does this happen? Enzyme is the answer. The main component of bread is tart which is large molecule that is tasteless and in our saliva contains of amylase an enzyme that can break starch into sugars that's why after a while it should start tasting sweet so our topic today is about metabolic processes as enzymatic reactions in organism now look at the slide for a living cell to function properly, it has to carry out a lot of chemical reaction every day. But the problem with this is most of chemical reaction naturally quite slow. So to make speed up chemical reaction is by increasing the temperature. But this way can cause a few problems. One it can require a lot of energy to keep an organism warm. And two, high temperatures can damage our cells. And three, high temperatures can also speed up non-useful reactions that we don't actually want. So, a better way to make the chemical reaction speed up is with catalyst. We can define catalyst as a substance that may speed up chemical reaction without being changed or used up in the process. So, it means catalyst can be used over and over again without being used up. Enzyme is a particular type of catalyst that made by living organism. So, we can call enzyme as a biological catalyst. Enzyme basically just large protein, so like all protein that made by long chain of amino acid. Okay, now we need to know how enzyme work. If you think about chemical reaction, they taking one thing which we call substrate and breaking it into multiple parts that we call product. Or it could be the reverse, when the multiple substrates are combined to make a single product. Now, uh, how enzyme can speed up chemical reaction? Because enzyme have an active site, which is a region on the enzyme that have unique shape and specific to the substrate. The specific region is really important because if substrate doesn't fit with the active site, then the reaction won't be catalyzed. Okay, the next is models of enzyme action. There are two models, log anti model and induced fit model. For log anti model is when the substrate has to fit perfectly into the active site. Just like he fit perfectly into log. Okay, let's do this. For log anti model, when the substrate has to fit perfectly 
with the exercise. This is plot and t model. And for inductive model is when the active side changes slightly to fit perfectly with the substrate. Okay, this for inductive model when the active side changes slightly to fit perfectly with the substrate. You get it? Yes. Okay, let's move to the next. Okay, the next is factors that can affect enzyme reaction. There are two factors, temperature and pH. Now, let's start with temperature. You can see from this graph, temperature can affect the reaction. If the temperature increases, the rate increases too. But after about 37 degrees Celsius, the rate starts to drop rapidly. This is because high temperature makes the active site of enzyme changes. If the active site of enzyme changes shape too much, then the substrate cannot fit the active site. And at this point, enzyme has been denatured. For the second factor is pH. If you remember from chemistry, pH is a measure of acidity. Okay, let's see the graph. If the pH is too low or too high, it can make low the, the rate. This is because, same as before, this is because um, the active side of enzyme changes the shape too much. And then the substrate cannot fit at all and enzyme can be denatured. So far, you have already known that enzyme works specifically. Each enzyme only can bind with one type of substrate. If enzyme not find the specific substrate, the enzyme won't be catalyzed. So like uh, I have a puzzle. This is about example of enzyme with their each function. Uh, like pepsin only can break down protein. The enzyme meet their specific substrate. So the enzyme can be active. And lipase only can break down fat, like this. And the amylase only can break down starch. Like this. Okay, I think that's all for the explanation about enzyme. Hopefully you learn a lot. But now I will ask to um, Safira, what can you conclude about Enzyme? Okay, enzyme is protein that can speed up biochemical reaction. Yes, you're right. Enzyme is a protein that can make speed up of chemical reaction. Now I will ask to the entire class how many models of enzyme action? Two. Two yes, there are two models of enzyme action. What is this model? Yes, for lot NT model, when the substrate had to fit perfectly with the active site, and for induced fit model, the active site changes slightly to fit perfectly with the substrate. Okay, that's all for today. Uh, please read again your textbook to get more information about enzyme. For the next meeting, please do a resume about enzyme classification. The resume will be discussed in the next meeting. Thank you guys for your presence and participation. Today was a great meeting. Mm, keep healthy and have a nice day. See you in the next meeting. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.